My name is Lila Shernit. I'm from Canton, Ohio. Um, I graduated from early college high school there in Canton. And yeah, um, I did all of my scouting here in Canton and North Canton as well. I first became involved in scouting back in 2016 in venturing. My brother was in a venture crew and he loved it. He loved the camping aspect, the leadership, all the friends he made especially. Um, and he kept encouraging me once I became a freshman to also be involved. He dragged me out to a camp out once. I actually had more fun than I was expecting to. Um, and ever since then, I started going to meetings and going on more camp outs, which led me to go on camp staff. And then it kind of just continued from there. I joined Troop 111 on February 8th, which was their first day of their meetings. Um, and that February in 2019 was when females were allowed to join scouting as well. With my trail to Eagle, um, it was all th done throughout that troop. I did a lot of stuff both in the troop and while I was on camp staff because I couldn't just stop working um, on my rank while I was at camp staff. So I had a lot of help there as well. The most rewarding thing I got out of my scouting experience in both my troop my crew and everything that I got into it was definitely the friends and the connections I made. I met so many people who came with me throughout all the six years I've been involved and they've stayed alongside me. I went to college with some of them or near some of them and I still talk to almost all the people I met even since the beginning. <laughs> My favorite experience or memory um, experience definitely has to be camp staff. I just gained so many different experiences and learned so much stuff by being involved on Seven Ranges camp staff. Uh, it's definitely grown me and like made me into the person that I am today. Um, memory in specific would have to be when I went through my ordeal for the Order of the Arrow and my brother was the chief. So I got to go through that with him um, and take some really nice photos afterwards. And it was just something that I wasn't expecting to ever be able to do really. Um, and the fact that I was able to and to go through it with a family member and the, the person who got me involved in scouting was really amazing. For my um, project, I renovated a room at my charter church, which is um, Zion United Church of Christ in North Canton. Um, I took one of their rooms that was hosting the Cub Scout group there, and I cleaned it up, repainted it, fixed all the paneling around the walls, um, installed new whiteboards because they had chalkboards beforehand, um, replaced the tables in there. And then per request of the church, they asked me to talk to the person who owned the room and see if they had any special preferences they wanted as well. And the leader, the cub master wanted a knot tying station. It's something that he'd wanted for many years. So I also installed a, a knot tying station in there for the um, youth to use. The greatest thing that I learned about being a leader and that's helped me grown is definitely um, learning how to talk to people and not just talk to people my age, but talk to people older and younger as well. Because by teaching, I had to most of the time talk to younger, to youth, but then I would also have to talk to their, um, their scout masters as well. And I was also involved in NYLT, which is a national youth leadership course where I had to give um, hour long presentations and sometimes more. Um, and that really showed me how to not only manage my time, but organize myself so that I was able to give these presentations in a timely manner and lead um, the people that I was leading to. I had so many people from scouting that I could put down as references when I applied to jobs or even schools. And a big thing for me when I was going into college was scholarships. Um, I had a lot of people that were willing to jump on and help me give reference letters. I had a bunch of scholarships and um, going into college, and it was it was just really helpful that I knew that I met so many people through scouting, and they were all so willing to help me, and they wanted to see me succeed as well. If you're considering joining the scouting program, first of all, 100% go for it. Do it. It's amazing. Being in the inaugural class of Female Eagles, I... I feel like it means it shows a lot that uh, females can do everything that the boys can do. And we've been doing it alongside them for a long time. And now we get to be recognized and show other younger girls 
that they can get there too. They can be with their older brother and their dad and their uncle and their grandpa had the chance to be. I think that the biggest lesson that scouting has taught me is to pretty much go out there and be yourself and don't be afraid to, you know, show like your silly side or embarrass yourself. Um, I had a lot of mess ups throughout scouting a lot of times where I really did just want to like quit. Um, but, you know, it really showed that there are a lot of people there for you and you'll meet a lot of new people that will um, be there with you. And not only will you carry everything you learn from scouting the rest of your life, but you'll carry the people that you meet also.